What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hey, Yog. <laughs> Come on, Yog. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. Happy one day after Mardi Gras, everyone. We uh, have yeah, happy Mardi Gras. It's even fatter Wednesday. Uh... <laughs> now we're <it's> called. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's Fat Tuesday and even fatter Wednesday. Come on, it's Ash Wednesday, it's, you heathen. Nope. No, it's it's smoke some grass Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we I believe that's just called Weed Wednesday. Weed, yeah, that's a better name for it, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, folks, if you like this show, you can catch us live on twitchtv team every Wednesday night at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and hey, if you'd like to support us. Financially, we'd love it if you would head over to patreon.com slash save data team, where in case you missed it, folks, we included a brand new Patreon stretch goal thing. Uh, currently, hey. we just broke past the $300 level, which means we will do a entire video reacting to bad video game box art and bad video game ads. Uh, we've done this a while ago. It is one of the funnier things we've done, uh, but it was before we got good at production stuff, so it's a very outdated video. $400 uh, is a musical tier list ranking, which will include our opinions on uh, Legally Blonde. Uh, at $500, we'll do a Delta Rune full LP with Wes, because I know a lot of people have requested that. They want to hear him doing the Spamptons. Uh, and at $600, we will do a live, well, live reenactment. We'll just read on stream, uh, uh, a Shakespeare play to be decided later, probably a comedy, but we'll find out, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Uh, and oh gosh, <laughs> I came back. Wes, Wes's face surprised me for a second. Who is that? Oh, it's, it's Joey. Me, you? <laughs> what are you oh, talking it's, about, you? That's amazing. Oh Hell my god, yeah. it's adorable. Yeah, it's so hey, good. Yo, come on, donate to the Patreon, you. <laughs> With a ringing endorsement like that, how could they not? You know. Come on, give a few bucks. Help pay Wes's bills. Come uh, on. And hey, Yoke. look at that. Uh, Peter just became a two-dollar member on Patreon. Thank you, Peter. Hey, th hey, Lois. Oh my Guess fucking what? god. Remember the time when I became a two-dollar Patreon? <laughs> Subscriber on the same day to me. <laughs> and if you head over to Patreon, uh, you can fund us and become one of our uh, producers, including Bandicoot Commando, Kadabe, Fafilla, Sibilla, that's amazing that they rhyme, Halucha, Rick Rat, Mystic Woody, and Les, who all pledged at a $10 and above level to get their names read live on every single stream we do. But I was going to say, there, there's with our community's mm -hmm. history, we're going to have people just donating and putting shitty, stupid na meme names. Oh, don't give them the idea to, to do that. Life. Don't give them the idea to do that. <laughs> oh, you would you would absolutely take the money. I Zach. would. Val Doodle's instantly making a Patreon account, naming it Ligma <laughs> right now. All, like, it's already done. Uh, okay. So last, uh, we officially decided to be Rhonda Light's lawyer. Yep. Right. Sounds about right. Okay. Let's From uh, the delights. Let's go to. Oh, there's something here already. All right. I guess we gotta go home. Ah, Mr. Nick, welcome back. Wait, weren't you with me? Do you need me? Do you remember she? She's she hates oh, you because. That's right. That's right. That's right. She ran off. All yeah. of a sudden. Oh, hello, pearls. No. Good to see you again. You can't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Pearls. You're back, too, I see. I, um, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. Here's the thing. First off, that's very cute. Secondly, is Pearl just, like, carrying around fat stacks? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. He's loaded. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I read that long first. said, I'll go make some tea. I'll go make some tea with it. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck do you use strawberry cake to make tea? <laughs> cake tea. You you just you ste you see steep the you cake in water. Cake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> strawberry cake. So skip two. My mind had completely skipped two words. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll I'll go make some tea to go with it. Hey, uh, pearls. Don't you hate me? It looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. All right. 
Church of Knuckpickle. Oh, yeah. Mr. Nick, I, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. Well, In case you forgot what happened five seconds ago, yeah. game time. Uh, <laughs> I'll never forgive you. Ever. And I'll this definitely those never get you strawberry times. cake. <laughs> this is one of those appropriate times where the flashback is kind of nice. Because it happened last week. For someone who yes, is playing it normally, last week. You were playing this game this normally. This would happen yeah. literally within five minutes. Five. <laughs> Here you Mr. go, Maya. Mr. Nick. Here's this totally not poisoned cake I got you. <laughs> Eat up. Mystic Maya, the tea is ready. But don't drink, but make sure Nick gets this cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poison for Nick. The poison chosen especially to kill Nick. Nick's poison. <laughs> oh, thanks. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick. Please have some of this cake. I think she is trying to poison Yeah, no, us. she's very insistent. She's, like, watching him <laughs> as he, like, puts it up to his mouth. This, this yeah. look that she's giving is, like, the... It's it's a very... Uh, spoilers. <laughs> it's, like, a very Junko look. Oh, she's the... like, yeah, eat the cake. <laughs> Don't mention the Forbidden series. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah, thanks. Um, Pearls... Excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. And Maya's like, Pearl, don't go in there! <laughs> I've already cleaned this toilet four times a day. Hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. Too late. <laughs> this might be a good time for me to ask about her. <laughs> I'm the fuck up with Pearls. Yeah. Yo, w w what's up with your cousin? <laughs> Maya, what's up with Maya? <laughs> like... <laughs> What's, Maya, what's what the wrong fuck? with her? Maya, what the fuck is up with Maya? <laughs> what's up with Maya? Coming to Disney Channel. <laughs> hey, this is Maya. Welcome to Disney Channel. All right, let's talk about Pearl. <sighs> Time for his backstory. I first met Pearls a year ago. It was when that murder happened at Curane Village. I still remember, remember, it's been like... Two years since the last game was released, and you're not playing this in chronological order, like one right after the other? <laughs> to be fair, we did play this case about six months ago, because we did play three cases of That's Gak in between. That's crazy. That's crazy to think about. I still remember when she said it, what she said to me when we first met. <laughs> I would love it if, if, if it just ends here. She's like, Hi. yeah. What did it? What did it knock you? I still remember their first word shared. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> and I'll never forget it. You're Mystic Maya's special someone. Hey, Maya. I always thought it was because she was young, but... Uh, what? Pearls... I think she's got the wrong idea... about... you and uh, I. Huh? Uh, I... Um... There's something you need to understand. What is it? Um... It's kind of like a Kurain Village custom. Sort oh of. god, are we in an are we in an arranged marriage? <laughs> I act, did I actually get into an arranged realized. marriage with you for some weird cult shit that your, your <laughs> fucking weird ass cult village did. Oh no, it's a it's a harem anime. It is a harem anime. Shit. Uh, <laughs> there are hardly any men in Kurain Village. Just just the janitor necromancer. Just <laughs> <laughs> he's, and his he's love the is and his eunuch. love is his. And his only true love is his job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring back the dead. <laughs> now that yeah. you mention it, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fey family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to become a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. Wow, Wow! magical powers are sexist. <laughs> That's why the whole culture of Kirin Village kind of revolves around its women. 
Well, that's understandable. A bunch of girl bosses. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh? Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Oh. Uh, just a village of deadbeat, hu of deadbeat husbands <laughs> with small egos? Yeah, shit. Fucking... Listen, my dad the, was like, the... I'm gonna go out for some milk and cigarettes. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna go out for some strawberry cake and tea, BRB. Although technically, to be fair, isn't that what her mom did? She just disappeared one day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> after a number of year, after after some time, all the men in Grand Village go to get cigarettes and never come back. <laughs> Damn. That's gonna be the plot some, twist. Somewhere at a gas find... station. Somewhere at a gas station. This is a huge like group of men all smoking. <laughs> <laughs> you the newest one from Crane Village? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you you, you were you were Mystic Tammy's husband. <laughs> uh Mystic Karen. <laughs> Mystic Karen. God, every manager every manager's worst nightmare. Yeah, she likes to speak to the manager of, of the underworld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she could she could channel a manager to speak to a manager. <laughs> Uh, especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father... He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. I did not remember this part of Pearl's backstory. This is kind of sad. Yeah, I don't remember that she has really bad daddy <laughs> issues. I don't yeah. remember that. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Damn. Aw. Oh, I know. I, like, Pearl, can you have a funny backstory? We like to make jokes here. God. Yeah. <laughs> can't make a joke about that. Yes, we can. <laughs> no. We just we just made several jokes about that. Uh, to, yeah, I mean, kind of. Hey, t tune into uh, the not the most recent, but the one before Chaos Jeopardy of the joke Chris did about himself. Jesus Christ. Uh, one of the funniest jokes of all time. Oh, let's go <laughs> save data deep lore for one. Uh, save data deep lore challenge for 100. This formative event in 1999 largely affected the comedic style of Chris, and in a weird way, we would never have save data as it is, as it is today without it. David, go ahead. Uh, what is Chris's father leaving his family? <laughs> what is Chris's Jesus! father walking out of his family? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna dress Muppets in Space the movie came out. Holy shit! Uh, I have uh, changed uh, David's name appropriately and made his uh, no! and made his score the uh, number of uh, number of influences that that has had on me, which is zero because it means nothing to me. Uh, <laughs> Pearls seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm your co only cousin, and well. Because of the murder case last year, Hurley's mother is... Oh, yeah. I remember now. Pearl's <laughs> mother, Morgan Fay. I'm doing a lot of remembering things right now. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. Why, <laughs> Why in isolation? <laughs> so you see, I'm the only family Pearlie has right now the same for me too my, uh... my mother's gone too oh snap getting this back <coughs> too. so your mother's still missing <laughs> like nobody found her you just i thought she might come back and you just didn't tell me i yeah. don't know man why, why would you yeah, say no, still no she's still <laughs> she's still looking for those cigarettes <laughs> yeah. to be fair the corner store in curian village is really hard to find yeah, the line gets crazy sometimes. Yeah. And no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother. Misty Fay. The current master of the... Pokemon Master. <laughs> the current master of the Korean channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. Wasn't it the DL6 incident? It, yeah, I was going to say, they didn't say it. They didn't, why didn't they say it? But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah. 
I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? And according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the Karain techni technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the Fey main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Yeah, I know. But first, I want to talk to Pearls. First, I want that cake. Oh, God! Mr. Nick, it's everywhere! <laughs> Who does this, Mr. Nick? <laughs> oh, my God! Help me, Mr. Nick! Maya, what did you eat? <laughs> 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 oh god um mr nick yeah i i acted like a baby not more of a baby than Little a baby. mr delight <laughs> pearls <laughs> i doubted you even though mystic maya trusted you for the I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick. Yes? I... I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Oh, my goodness, I... It's okay. Something? I think I'm the one who should be apologizing. Oh, I'm the one who should be apologizing? Well, I'm going out now for a little bit. Uh-huh. Where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. Aww. So I'm going to show you I can be useful too by finding some evidence. You are oh, eight. Oh. Yeah, I was like, I don't oh, think we no. should let. Oh, okay, she's gone. Yeah, don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, she's running fast again. <sighs> she sure runs fast. <laughs> Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. Uh, somebody said to present the Shichishido here. Sword. It has a strange aura surrounding it. It's like it's infused with a spirit of both anger and tragedy. Well, I'd be mad too if somebody bent me the way they bit this sword. <laughs> yeah, I guess that could be it. This is this is hard proof that Phoenix is the top. <laughs> Do we finally need to go to the Admi Detective Agency? Oh, yeah. What, what do you call it? The Office of Worldly Delights or something? Yeah. Some weird shit like that? Oh, uh, yeah. That's where he fucks? Oh, oh God. God. That's powerful. Kind of look like, it kind of looked like her, it kind of looks like Herlock's office. Yeah? Wait, we haven't seen that yet. You I've seen pictures imagine. of it, but... Imagine trying to fuck, and the person you're fucking has a huge picture of themselves in the room. <laughs> but fucking we survive, killer. Oh my god. Fucking uh, White Goodman from Dodgeball. It's me. Yeah, Grab you're right. Yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's like a metaphor. That actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, a Dodgeball a reference in 2022. It's a great, it's a great movie. <laughs> it is good. It that is good. movie's so good. It no, holds good. I, I don't know if it holds up. I know it's probably got some <laughs> shitty jokes in it because it's an old Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn yeah, comedy. Yeah, yeah. But I remember really loving it. Yeah. This is a detective agency? Looks more like the set of some B-grade horror movie. What B-grade uh, horror hello? movie you watched? <laughs> <laughs> is anyone here? It looks like nobody's home. Hmm. What a waste of time. Hey, I know. Let's take that framed picture back with us as a memento. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is just let's like, let's steal, steal this let's picture? Steal from... shit. I'm a kleptomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare, Maya. Guess we'll have to try back later. I mean, should we, should we look at things? Is it worth looking yeah, at things? Yeah. Hmm, look at the picture. Yeah. What a creepy painting. It's like he's looking right at me. Yeah, I wish that he was his. it was his face and he <laughs> was just standing there and he's like, hello. What, what painting? <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe we should put up a big portrait of you in the office, Nick. I can even paint it for you. If you can pose while cleaning the toilet. What is up with this joke? <laughs> <laughs> Who it's, thought cleaning the toilet jokes were like it's the, the funniest that keeps thing in on the world? Giving. <laughs> yeah, they love that joke in this one. We had mm -hmm. hemorrhoids in case one and cleaning toilets in this case. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, butts somebody... are very funny to this group, to, hey, to the people who wrote or translated this. I mean, it checks out. <laughs> I don't think it checks out as much as you think it does. I think I prefer something a bit more dignified. Right, what's like me cleaning the Hey, dishes? what about you sitting on the toilet? <laughs> this desk is literally covered with all sorts of chemistry equipment. Oh, I just love chemistry. Do you? Say, Nick, I bet you didn't know this, but water is made up of carbon and hydrogen. Maya, what wow, the you're fuck? <laughs> no, 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 not carbon, oxygen. Oxygen and hydrogen. Oh, well, there are always alternative theories, I guess. <laughs> God. Maya just said fake news to us. Yeah. Maya just, I think Maya just admitted she's going to anti vax. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter your what what your facts are. It matters how I feel about it, Nick. Okay. I just listen. You just have alternative. I have you have your facts, and I have alternative facts. <laughs> so, if my alternative theories, you mean the ones you make up inside that head of yours? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do. Uh, where uh. Should we talk to Desiree again? Oh yeah, go back to Desi. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that's just an excuse of mine to talk to Desiree some more. <laughs> okay, yeah, we uh, Maybe this. not. Do we have anything to present? Or what even are things? No, oh, this is all we have. Yeah, and we already presented the calling card. I can't imagine yeah. there being anything else. Oh, only one page of evidence? What is this? Ace Attorney 1? Detention Center has nothing. I guess go back to the, uh, the department store? Yeah. Oh my god, you have to go to three different places just to get there. Uh, Exhibition Hall. Hey! Hey! hey. Found it! <clears throat> Maya! Oh, Miss Andrews! I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn! Your precious urn! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Calm down. What's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, it's okay. D I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I can make you another urn. <laughs> that, the last part of that phrase, like, I was like, where is this going? <laughs> You're going to give me a massage? I can give like, you a massage? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah. Come on. I can challenge you to a thumb war, and I'll let you win. <laughs> Yo. Hold on. Just wait, okay? Three. Calm down and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Damask? Mask Damask. Let's see. Exactly ten days ago? I was going to show it to the police... But that detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective Atme to help with security? Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Mask to Mask than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes. I had a premonition that something bad might happen. Are you psychic too? I don't to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras, even in the basement warehouse. Yes. Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was their way of saying, bring it on to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night and even left with a nice souvenir. <laughs> so he brought it and took it. <laughs> um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Why do you say that? 
Also, damn, Maya's right here. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Okay, uh, <laughs> fuck you, I guess. <laughs> the urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but it's actually its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. <laughs> Amazing. I imagine, yeah, just this fucking broke ass. Maya's iron. like, I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> When I became master, I was just gonna sell everything. <laughs> Wait, what? Are, I was gonna are you cash me? out. I can't, <laughs> I can't sell out. What happened? <laughs> just imagine this pot on fucking antiques roadshow, and they're like, "Uh, this is nothing. Look at look oh, at these the, cracks. The little... It doesn't even say Ami's name." <laughs> this little the little thought bubble above Maya's head. That's her driving in a Lamborghini with a trunk full of burgers, and her laughing and smiling, <laughs> just like. Poof, she goes like, <laughs> and she's like, no! That lead is spirit channeling school. I was going to sell off all the assets in the property. The property is, <laughs> is the property value in Korean Village still high. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can make it out of this. I'm sorry, Miss Faye, but after appraisal, after no a one's murder. looking to buy. After a murder <laughs> took place here, the property value collapsed. The property is also miles away from anything, so <laughs> as a tourist destination, this is practically worthless. I mean, the, only way, the only way you can get here is either by a, two hours on a bullet train or if you're a really, really fast <laughs> eight-year-old. <laughs> and <laughs> good luck finding some of those. <laughs> Zero? I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. <laughs> but but that urn contains the soul of Mystic Ami. Anyway, I left all the yeah. security uh, Yeah, yeah, my the souls don't have uh, souls are not a very liquid asset. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna I was sell going that to soul. sell all the souls I had collected. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective Atme. But. Five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Curain. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually Master Mask in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. What did you do, Ask? Hey, are you Master Mask? <laughs> uh, are you no. Master Mask? You have to tell me if you are, legally. <laughs> she, she legally, she asked... you have to tell me if you are. Otherwise, it's entrapment. <laughs> That's not she how that works. The... What? <laughs> also, she everyone knows what the... Master Mask looks like, so I can tell if they were really him or not. <laughs> she asks the statue of Ami Faye, Are you Mask to Mask? <laughs> it just starts okay, screaming. Take your time. It, yeah, it just starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? <laughs> uh, eggs? <gasps> Is there really nothing else to talk about? No, it's only gave me two things. Oh. Um, Miss Andrews. I know, I know, it's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll make it up to you by making a new urn for you. I'm just wasting my time. She's too far gone. I presented uh, Master Master. <laughs> uh, can you do Ronda Lights? Oh, sure. Like, hey, this guy admitted to being him, by the way. Yeah. No, thank. Oh. Uh, no. Okay, well. Uh, maybe go to the... The basement. The basement. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the basement again. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Nothing. Oh. Okay. I'm down here. Got that shitty box. Yeah. Get it out of my fucking <laughs> sight. Uh, uh, maybe go back to the agency. Maybe he's there now. Yeah, maybe now we can... Hey! hey. We found it, folks. Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Ah, oh, it was him the whole time. Who would have guessed that? <laughs> Not me. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. I'd rather not. Uh, um, we're actually kind of in a... Shh, silence! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? 
Am I crazy? We did this last time, right? Yes, yes absolutely. Okay. We did. Um, I think we've already been through okay, this. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Ha! So my estimation was correct. Zvari, how truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? Uh, tell us who did it. You mentioned before that you were on guard all alone last night. Wait, he was mad on guard? <laughs> oh no! <He's> <laughs> Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Master Mass since his very first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Emanon. <laughs> I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. Wait, for the first crime? You were there when he did it? So that's <laughs> why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit. I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. Wow, but I thought you were watching the area yourself yeah. too. But how did Master Mask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Mask Damask's modus operandi? Man, that's a Gesundheit. sentence. Um, Mr. At me? It is funny. Don't to say. at me, okay? Yeah, it's really funny to say it like that. <laughs> hey, uh, don't at me, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't mean to click. Uh, uh, did you know something about the Sacred Urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Damask. Sacred urn? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Master Mask stole this time? I am a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? First off, do people feed peanuts to pigeons? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's like bird isn't seed. That a, isn't that a thing? Like... It's it's outlawed, or you're not supposed to throw rice at weddings because pigeons would fucking eat it, and then their oh. stomachs would explode. Oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> but like, chat. Somebody confirm. Wasn't that a thing? Like, people don't throw rice at weddings anymore because hmm. it would like kill the birds that would eat the rice. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Yeah. People in the chat are saying it it's is. a myth. Okay. Oh well, there you go. Someone cool. says it's a myth. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a pigeon with a fucking like peanut sized lump in its throat. Just like. <laughs> Yo, real talk. I fucking hate pigeons. Can't stand the birds. Lived in New York for too yeah. long. Yeah. Yeah. When you live in New York, pigeons fucking suck. One, one time uh, in that apartment that you and I lived together in, Wes, uh, where I had, yes. my own, I had my own bathroom. Uh, one morning I left the window open in my bathroom overnight. And I walked oh, into no. my bathroom in the morning and a fucking pigeon had like started like building a nest in the like windowsill oh, no. on the inside. Oh no. <laughs> and I walked into my bathroom, I screamed, the birds screamed, and then like proceeded to like we all bang around in the- right, We all screamed for ice cream. It was the worst. And then like it, it got out and I was like, okay, cool. But then there was like, fucking gross ass straws that it was trying to build the nest with Ew. that were like in my tub and I was like oh this sucks Ew. yeah that sucks it was the worst <laughs> that's hilarious maybe that's why Phoenix has to keep cleaning the bathroom because there's a pigeon that keeps <laughs> trying birds. to build a He's nest in there, there. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think I like this guy's attitude Nick well anyway looks like he doesn't know about the urn um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. The fuck's up with your nose? <laughs> okay, that's a little what? rude. <laughs> Did you say? <laughs> my what? 
Your nose? I don't recall having one of those, my dear. <laughs> hey, then what's that thing on your face? <laughs> ah, you mean my beak? Oh my, he's a bird I'm man? a very large bird. <laughs> he's the bird man. He's bird, he's birdman. He's Harvey Birdman. He's Tony Hawk. Detective at law. <laughs> he's Tony Hawk. The bird man. Oh fuck, that's really good. <laughs> there you go, folks. That's the that's, fan that's art of at me doing a identity. fucking 1080. Yeah, at me doing a 900. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does kind of look. I, I, someone said he's Igor from the Velvet Room persona. Okay. I, oh yeah, he I, does. I, I, look I appreciate like Igor. that. Yeah. Welcome. Do I have to give him Igor's voice now? No. After no. all, we are all. <laughs> Your at me voice is very good. <laughs> After all, we are all but seekers wandering alone in the dark. We are all butt seekers. <laughs> Got him. Well, I was wondering how Master Mask managed to steal the urn. I mean, <laughs> isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Damn, Maya's fucking like. Why are you bad at your job? What's up with that? <laughs> yeah. He's now that you mention it, it is strange, Luke. At me that you don't know why. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should at least you should have at least seen Mask to Mask. Oh! oh. 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 What the? It's a cyclock. We haven't had to do those yet this game. Time for a tutorial. Cyclock? Yeah. Does Maya know what a cyclock is? Yeah, she does. Never mind. Cyclops. The X Men. Hey Nick, what is this Cyclops? You know what it is, my. Does Maya know what it is? I'm pretty sure she knew because so, uh, there's dialogue so of her the being so, like, "Pearl gave me well, this." Well, so here's the thing. No, she would have known from Case Three. Yeah, she yeah, would have yeah. been with you when you were solving. Yeah, because again, she wouldn't have known from Case Two, and she wouldn't have known from Case Four, but she would have known from Case Three. So yeah, she should. It was Pearl who taught us, I us but I, people... I feel certain that there was a line where Maya was like, oh, I see that Pearly gave you her Magatama or something like that. Oh, so it's, you... it, no, it's Maya's Magatama. Oh. Pearl, she, she gives it to Pearl to give to us. Oh. And I see people in the chat being like, it's hers. But I remember she gives Pearl a message that's like, give this to Nick as like a good luck charm. I don't think she gives it to him oh, okay. with the knowledge that it'll help him you huh. see people's brains. So basically, she had a magical artifact and had no fucking glue. The yeah, bug. I'm pretty sure. Well, your Megatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, by blowing their fucking minds, I can find out what those secrets are. By freaking their beans. <laughs> by mind freaking them like Chris Angel. <laughs> <laughs> what? This Magatama has that kind of power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this All Magatama right, yeah, last go. year. All right, gay. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized fae family heirloom, but Hurley was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. I feel like you have an excuse for every fucking thing, Maya. <laughs> This is the woman that's going to take over the Curane Channeling School someday? Yeah, they are so screwed. <laughs> everybody, everybody sell all of your Curane Channeling stocks. Yeah, sell if any stocks in Curane Channeling mm -hmm. Village. Uh, I mean, they're probably rock bottom after the murder anyway, but... Yeah, yeah right, but right. they're not going up. They're, they're not, not going, going up, up so though. Sell mm -hmm. now. So, how do you do it? How do you break the Cyclock thing? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool! I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy. I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. <laughs> um... I guess we That's should present green. it just to see. Yeah, just like the editorial one where we already have the answer. I hope so. Yeah. Let's just give him. Let's just give him an autograph by uh, oh, uh, uh, the Jammin' Ninja. Yeah. 
Detective Atme, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask to Mask commit the crime. Well now, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy is lying through his teeth. I know. Lying through his nose. I'll show him some proof. Detective Atme, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. Okay, we do have that. Oh, the log. Okay, the okay. camera data. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on that camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? But my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. What? It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. <laughs> what? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective Antony, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence to prove it. Okay. <laughs> Let's suppose you didn't manage to see Master. <laughs> How easy do you think his nose breaks? Oh man! Oh, I bet. It's, that shit. I, no, I bet it's like really hard to break. Like you try and punch it, and, and your, instead it impales like, your splits, hand. Yeah, it, <laughs> it splits, splits your, your fist hand? in half. Oh my god! No way! That thing's so flimsy. Just don't punch it head like, on. It does like it does like the Mugen train bit where, like, goes to slice and he punches him and it slices down his forearm. The worst. Uh, <clears throat> let's suppose you didn't manage to see mask to mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time is because you were <laughs> using using my bathroom. <laughs> that I have to clean. I mean, we have to we have to see the joke for that. I mean, come on. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> you were the one who made the. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence that I was in the bathroom. Yeah, what? Uh. Show me that I was taking a dump in your toilet, Phoenix. Wright. Yeah, I don't think I, that's that's not funny at all. They didn't give me a good. Yeah. Joke. Come on, video game. Yeah, no, that Ooh. was bad. So I think you're sleep or unconscious. I don't know if our evidence reflects that. Uh, are we supposed to? Are we supposed to assume that someone hit him with the sword? Ooh. Because the sword's uh, bent and that knocked him unconscious. Wow. Pr big nice. brain bridge. Yeah. Look at the brain Ooh. on Brad. For real. Okay, we'll try it. Chichisto. Nice. Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? <laughs> Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke Atme, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. That's... Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Ami Fei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh, uh. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. You were hit by, you were struck by, a smooth criminal. Smooth criminal. Got him. You've been hit by, you've been hit by, a smooth criminal. Uh, that's an edit I'm gonna do. <clears throat> well, Detective, what about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Roll credits. <laughs> oh, that's...